Guys, take a look at this. This is another birdie attempt here, and this could be the first time ever I could be going two under three free holes. That's got a serious high ball plate, that is going to be centered the fairway. That's a good strike. That's a very good strike. Wind's pulling a bit right. Welcome back to the channel guys for another video where today we're out here at Barn Golf Club. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go down there and subscribe now. It'll help us grow. It'll be very much appreciated. And don't forget to like and comment. But anyway guys, Lauren Golf Club, 18 holes a day on the channel. Playing off a 9.2 handicap, which is somewhat alright, but for Lauren Golf Club, if I went around it and maybe 10 or 11 over, I'll be happy. But anyway, Lauren Golf Club, 18 holes. Let's get it. Hand side. Kept their low, guys. Kept their low and straight. Then left hand side will take it. So we still have 190 to the pin. We've got a four iron in hand. Just because it's wet, just to try and get one down there. I think the first hole is a temporary green, I'm nearly 100% sure. But we've got four iron in hand. Let's try and get one down. Oh, and that is well struck. That is well struck. I feel like a pulmogrin trying to hit that. <laughs> There's a flag in the green just on the edge of it. We're barely potting, but let's try and get the par. So there's 30 and 10 coming up. Yeah, miss that hole or something wrong. That hole is absolutely wrong. So hole two, it's another temporary green, it's 214 yards, 215 roughly, I'm going to try and hit five wood, just try and get one close to it, I think five wood could be the club here, I'm going to play a five wood and uh, hopefully just get one close, it doesn't look that far but I think if, a, if the five wood comes down, the ball comes down, it might just land on it, that's my, that's my hoping. It's right at it. It's right at it. Might be over it. Where? Wait, might be over it. The wind's absolutely just killed it and it's not even made it. That'd be lucky if that went 170. Wow. Still a good bit short there. I've got a 9 iron in hand. It's really wet. I don't know if this club's going to work. I'm going to try a bump and run. Hopefully it works. Keep going, keep going. I'll take another two. I'm going to put the third shot. Try and think of birdie, if not we'll get a par and walk away, we'll be happy. Too greedy. I think the, the line here is obviously up over this wee hill to the left. And just let the ball on the hill do the rest of the work. Come on. It just, it was actually creeping, it was creeping to it, but it should be a tap in for par. Dirty and a par to start, I'll be happy. That cup again is huge. Tell you what, I just about made that. It was just leaking towards the edge of the cup there, but birdie and par to start, guys. Temporary green still, but we'll take it. So, third hole, guys, it's another par four. It's another temporary green also. You need to go diagonal here to try and get onto the, the fairway, so it's more or less that way. Keep the yellow ball going, let's keep it going. That should be good. That was actually incredible. What a shot guys, we'll take that. We will take that. Shot two. Still 104, 105 yards. Maybe should have like an approach wedge in my hand, but I'm gonna play a pitching wedge, take a bit off it. Hopefully it's the right club. 
Should be good. That should be really good. Oh, on the temporary green, I tell you what, it's like throwing darts. That's exactly what that's like. It even rolled down towards the flag a bit. We'll take it. Get in there. Honestly. This is another birdie attempt here. And this could be the first time ever I could be going two under through three holes. This could be incredible. Can I get it? Look at all the stuff in the green though. <gasps> Them holes are actually massive and it's actually rolling around the cup. That's what's actually funny about it. There we go, another birdie, birdie par birdie. What an absolute start. I will also have to say, it's most likely because it's temporary greens. I'm still losing, they're still about 50 yards short of the actual green, but we'll take it. Birdie par birdie. This is a big par four, but yet again, we have another temporary green. So hope, I'm, what I'm hoping here is maybe try and be on it on two, I'll be happy. That's got a serious high ball flight, but that is going to be centered the fairway. You'll see it come down. And that hardly went anywhere. Caught that. Where did I catch it? Wasn't great. Let's just say it was in the middle. Oh, wasn't the biggest of hit, guys. The size of the hole. But anyway, 122 yards. Same shot as the last time. It doesn't look 122 yards, but we're going to play it maybe as a one. Maybe a hundred yard shot, pitching wedge in hand again. Should be maybe hitting an approach wedge, but I don't have one, so play with what you got. Pitching wedge in hand. Same shot as last time, be happy. Right beside the pin. Bit right. It's gonna be short as well. Took too much off it. Wow. Well, it's a big birdie attempt there. That's huge. Listen to how wet it is. It's actually soaking out here, but I've got another nine iron. Shot here and just try a nice little bump and run, try and get it out of this water. It will dry up as it gets closer to the green, so try and land one just before the green. Hopefully, it just runs on. Get closer to the power, I'll be happy. And I've actually finned it. Now, welcome back to the normal golf I play. Standard. <laughs> Not great. This is a big one for power. The greens basically want everyone. And on a green, so I'm going to get it in one. Most likely not. It is a big hole to miss, but I need to go up the hill. Up left, hopefully it comes down right. Shouldn't have to go up too much. Come down. Not great, guys. Not great. Hopefully that's a little... I say knocking because it is a big hole. For bogey. Then we have a bogey. First bogey in the cards. First bogey in the cards. Takes us to one under. So we're par four, guys. Just, just look at that. It's incredible. But we've got driver again in hand. Hopefully we don't sky this one like we did last time. Get another par in the cards, and I can see up ahead that it is, and it is a proper green. So I would like to get one on the fairway here, and uh, tip one to the green. To you, that's me. That's me. Aim. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> where have that? Where has that come from? Absolute mega drive. One ten to the green. We've got pitching wedge in hand. And it's a proper green, so we'd like to be on here in two, but that was an absolute catapult of a shot. We'll take that. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's try and keep the run going here. We're one under. Caught that heavy, but is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? Nope, short. Look at the size of that, guys. Look at the size of that. Wow, not bad, though. Shot free. Got pitching wedge in hand, just gonna try and run one to it. Pitching wedge in hand. First proper green, let's not crumble. Tell you what guys, that is actually a really good chip. It's a very good chip. We'll take that. Hopefully it's a little power putt. Hopefully.
Oh, it's just roll past the left. Good comment, you guys. And there we have it. And on we go to the next. Not bad. A pokey. We'll take a pokey. Can't complain. Stroke index 10. I think it is. But bogeys aren't bad. We'll take it. On to the next. Index 1, actually. But you go straight. Obviously, straight as you can go. The fairways are sloping downhill. And then you've got to go over the mound up there at the top of the hill. And then you're going towards the big red and white stick over the hill. Golf mates have played this video, have played this course. Sorry, guys. So golf mates have played this course. Uh, so if you want to remind them, just tag them and let them know that, that we're playing Lauren Golf Club. Guys, that has got to be one of the worst drives I've probably hit. I've actually hit the ground first, and the ball still went about 190 yards in the middle of the fairway. We started good now but the wheels are falling off. First shot wasn't great there to be honest. Went 185 yards with the driver, that's pretty embarrassing. But I hit the ground first. So we've got four iron here. My target is left hand side of that red and white stick. Hopefully the wind is going that way so hopefully it brings it in. Oh boy, this is such a horrible hole isn't it? What's happened? What has actually happened here? Started well, now the wheels have fell off. Shot free, I need a real good up and down here. Two bad shots in a row. Get it out of your system, come on. Get out of your system, Dave. Five iron in hand. Good connection is what? Oh, that's all you need. Listen to that wind. That's exactly what I'm talking about there. Where was that the second go? Huh? <laughs> Finally, shot four guys, this is for par, give that a little wipe, got a 58 degree in hand, gonna just try and nick one under the green here, walk away with bogey, I'll be happy, trying to keep the doubles off the cars, don't want any doubles, so 58 degree in hand, just try and land one close to the pin, shouldn't roll that much, shouldn't, shouldn't roll much, and it's it didn't really roll, it bounced right, it didn't roll though, but big bogey pot there, wow. So we'll take the flag out guys. For a big bogey pot here, and I mean it's big. Flag's out, a bit of dirt behind the ball work, oh, Jesus. Temporary greens. Big, big bogey pot. Now this one seems bone dry. How quick is she going to go? Big one for bogey. Take the double and walk away. That's still big for bogey. Big cup, shouldn't miss it. It's big for double bogey. There we have it. Double bogey, guys. First one on the car, it's not one what I want it. Great start to a double bogey. Ah, what's going on? Need to try and redeem myself, but anyway, this par three is amazing looking. We can check this one out. So, we're on hole seven, it's par three. I've got a pitching wedge in hand, it should, most, most, it should most likely be in a sand iron to a 52 degree uh, push but we've got pitching wedge in hand, par 3 golf mates did play this one seen Liam and all and, and the crew were here and did look good but anyway we're on the exact same hole ourselves and let's get stuck into it Hey, what guys? Wasn't a big hit, and that's going to show you exactly why it wasn't a big hit. That is most likely going to be rolled onto the green. I don't know where the pin is, but it should be a good shot. Wasn't the biggest of shots. It's a real big putt for birdie. I need to get another birdie in the cards here to try and redeem myself. It's another proper green, so we'll take it. As I said, guys, the last people who played this hole that I watched on YouTube was golf mates. Liam and the gang were here and the whatever they got was really wet as you've probably seen but anyway back at Lauren Golf Club we're on the seventh hole it's a par three it's a big pot for birdie keep turning keep turning oh I've just literally missed it I've literally just missed it by inches it's a big par pot now it's not that big but literally inches that would have been three birdies today 
three birdies that would have been. Big par par. There we have it. Nice little par in the cards that we go on to the eighth hole now, which is an interesting par four. Which I hope you enjoy, but nice little par. And on we go, let's get this, let's get it. Sun in the eyes, wind with, send it. Absolute sending this into the bushes. Oh my god. <laughs> what a drive. She's gone down there, straight down the middle. It's 137 yards into wind, so I'm going to play a 9 iron, hopefully get one down on it. It's another temporary green, guys. So it's 137 yards, I think it is, to stop that. Tell you what, good second. A little bit right up the pin, but it's not a bad shot. And I think we're still short, shows you how strong that wind is, but we're down there. Wedge in hand, we'll just give it a nice little up and down, slightly like an up and down, bump and run kind of shot. Hopefully, it just stops before the green and hopefully, it just rolls on. Gives me a nice attempt for power, but I'm trying it one close. The wind is really strong. Need it to run on, <laughs> it ran on, but not the way I wanted it to. Still a big putt for power there. So we have this big massive putt for par guys, we're on the green but we're on the green and no more. Just get one close. Take a par and move on. Take, oh no, just think what far enough, I've left it big for bogey. Ah. Uh, really do not want to get any three pots here because that hole's massive. It's gone down a hell to the left a little bit but size the hole shouldn't be missing that. It's for bogey. And there we have the bogey. I tell you what that was touch and go there. That was nearly uh, around the cup. But anyway it's a bogey. And we're going to another par three, which is another interesting hole, but let's get it. So we're in hole nine, guys. I have nowhere to set the camera, so we're going to have to go sit you down there where we've got up here and play it. Broke a tee. And short on left-hand side and running down the hill. Tell you what. I think I hit that a little bit too hard there. It actually hurt my, my stomach there, my groin. But anyway, let's try and get close for par. Definitely short, short there. I feel like I really hurt myself hitting that with that swing there, but shot two, got a 58 degree in hand. Just going to try and flop one in the air and get one close to the pin. Don't think, maybe a bump and run shot here is, is the club because it's a shot because the ball is a good bit below my feet. Wow, that's one way green. It's not a bad shot, it wasn't the right line, but it's literally just plugged. For power putting anyway, let's try and sink it. So, big one for power guys. Really want to try and sink this one, really do. Like straight enough, doesn't look like there's any hell sloping. If I can just stay maybe left hand side, hopefully it dies down and just rolls. To the right, I'll be happy. I like going for par. Par, par, or get one closer, bogey. And there's the close pop there for bogey. Hopefully that's a knock in for bogey in. For bogey. A 
around the cup and away she goes in the hole guys we'll take a bogey it's not bad it's now the first hole in the front nine but now on the the back nine it's now a par four instead of a par five so tees are brought slightly forward so it should be interesting but we finished the front nine there not bad i think we actually hit handicap on the front nine or we were one over one under handicap but it was a good good front nine a couple of bad shots but anyway Hold ten, par four. Let's try and get one down there. That's uh, not great, guys. I've actually sliced the life clean out of that one, and I went to the hell up there, the right hand side. Not a good start in hole ten. Not a good start. Shot two, guys. As I say, it wasn't a great strike at all. And now on a hill. Have to play one down there for me as well. I've got five iron in hand. That was a drive to forget about there. <laughs> anyway, five iron in hand, ball was well truly above my feet. I'll tell you what, that's not a bad shot. But here's the hoping. Come on. Nice little up and down, Dave. And I finned it. And shanked it. And everything else. Wow, this could be a buggy. Shot four, guys. Need this one for power. I'd be happy with a buggy at this stage. Just need a nice little pot and stroke. Hopefully, with a pitching wedge, hopefully, it just runs down the hill. It's not been the same start as the front. But something like that is what I was looking for, but just a little bit more closer. For bogey putting. Bogey putting, we'll take it. Big, big putt for bogey. Go take the flag out. Putting downhill. It's never a great thing, is it? Bogey here to redeem myself. I need it. It's going left to right. Slightly left. Hopefully it just turns as it moves to the cup. Oh no, just didn't do it enough. That's going to be a double bogey, guys. Definitely not the same as the, fr the front. And there we have it, a double bogey on the 10th hole. Wow. That is very, very, very disappointing. Very disappointing. But I was saying out there, after my drive and after my second. And the third. That was always going to happen. It's hole 11, par 4, 5 wooden hand again. I'm going to try and get one onto the dance floor here. Change the ball, I don't think the ball is getting me the distance. So we went to uh, Miss Tricks and Super Soft. Try and get one on the dance floor. Tell you what, it probably would have had the distance if I had the right line. And we went left. And I hit the ground first. What is going on? Shot two guys, pitching wedge in hand. Not got the easiest shots. Got a little bit of a bunker to go to the left hand side. Let's go try a nice little approach of up and down. Nice little chip and shot I got. Nothing too fancy. Good. Bounced on it and bounced off. Come on, what are these shots about today? The wheels have kind of fell off a little bit here in the back. Dead originally started happening the, at the end of the front, but. Let's turn this around. I've got the putter in hand. The greens aren't, I mean, around the greens aren't bad now, so they're not. So they are potable. There's no difference between the edge of the greens and the temporary greens, but anyway, putter in hand. Let's try and get one close, walk away with the par. Keep going closer. I really I need it to be closer than that. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Could I be free over in the back nine if I miss this? That's the question. A little bit right, I need to go. Now I've got a sunk in my head, that's going to happen. No, I guess the par. Happy days. That was a touch and go there, guys. Touch and go. It's hole 12, par 4. Last time we played this here. It was, uh, wasn't too far.
and I've actually bounced one along the grass. And let's just say we'll not be on that green in two years time. The wheels have fell off, the wheels have fell off. Best of drive, so I've got a big ass bird to my left hand side. It's scaring the crop clean around me. I've got a seven iron in hand. Let's try and get one close. Not a great drive at all there. Come on on the dance floor, Dave. And I finned it again. Every shot I'm finning. And I tell you what, that's going to be about 15 yards away from the green. Finned it. What is going on in my game today? So after playing two of the most horrible shots you've probably seen in the round of golf, we're on the fringe of the temporary green. We've two putts here for a par. Two putts for a par. It's mental. Golf is mental. Two putts for a par. How is this even possible? I know it's a temporary green and all that, but geez. I was going to say widening the turn, but if you, if you look at these greens, there you have every reason to understand why it's not turning. Not here for par. I'm just as shocked as much as you probably are. That left the right in this. Just tab it, let the ball do the work. There we have it, there's the par. Actually, that is so mental. I can't get my head on it. Absolutely topped the driver. Oops. So I've topped the driver, and then I don't even know what you'd call the second, but I'm just as shocked as much as you guys are. There we have it. So I've topped the driver. Fin the seven iron about 160 yards. Two putt up for par. We'll take it. Another par four, hopefully not another top with a driver. Let's try and send one to Mars here. Oh, that's coming in nice. Hurt myself there with that swing, but that's a really good drive. Tell you what, that's a nice little pitching wedge in for a second. We'll take that, we'll take that. Guys, look at this for a shot too. In a little bit of dirt here, mud, etc. Not far away from the temporary green, and not actually far away from the actual green. I'm going to play a little bump and run nine iron. Hopefully, just run one to it. That could be good. It's not actually near the flag, but it's a two putt for par. We'll take it and we'll move on. That's what we're after here, pars. Here for par, guys. I'm going to putt it. I think I know I can get close to a putter. So I'm going to go for a putter, and you go up right, it is right to left. But with a putter on a temporary green, and off, off the green as well, I can go anywhere. So putter in hand, temporary green, two putt for par, and I'll be happy. It's just about pace, how hard you hit it out of this. I hit that a good bit. i tell you what, it's not bad, we'll take it, it's not bad. If we can power this, I'll be happy. We're on the right track. We will be on the right track. If we can power this, I'll be happy. There we have it, guys. There's the power. That actually flew in that majestic hole. Flew in it. Good power. Very good power. And on we go to the 14th. Let's keep these powers going. We'll get a birdie soon. It's coming. Anyway, hole 14, par 4. Let's try and get one down there. Absolutely cap hold it right down the middle of the fairway again. Absolute cap hold it. Bang centre of the fairway guys, we'll take that. Good strike, sorry for the camera angle. Can't take the, the tripod up to the tee box. It's being currently done at the minute, but great drive. Down the middle again, don't think it's as far as last time, but great drive. In the centre of the fairway as we said, still 135-ish, 
nine iron in hand, should be hitting the pitching wedge, but I'm not getting distance, it's so wet. Nine iron in hand, hopefully get one down there. It struck well and it's going right on it. Has it got the legs? Took a lot of dirt there. Just short of the green. Shows you how wet that is, guys. Look at that. But anyway, short of green. Two pots here for par. Short of green. Got pitching wedge in hand. Hopefully get one close to the pen. Put for par. That could be four pars in a row, I think. From getting that double bogey in the, fr in the front. In the, in the tenth hole in the back now. Anyway, pitching wedge in hand. Just need to run one right hand side of the flag. Middle of the green. Let the ball do the rest. Nearly middle of the green. But anyway, apart from there, sink that, I'll be happy. Not exactly where I wanted it. Not exactly where I wanted it. I wanted it to be a little bit closer than that. Hopefully that's a top end for bogey. I'm gonna go to the top end bogey. There we have it, guys. Top end bogey. Just shows you going from a temporary green to an actual green itself. Challenging, obviously, but bogey pot. We'll take it and we go to the next hole. Another par four, I think it is. Yep, yeah, hole fifteen, par four. It's going to be an interesting hole. Driver in hand, need to get that bogey out of my head. Bogey's not bad, we'll take a bogey in golf. Right, driver in hand. Let's try and get one down the centre fairway right again. Hopefully we don't do like we did last time in this hole. It was not great. Oh my god. That's went from out. Not the best of swings, but that is... Oh my god. We'll take that. Where were you the last time here? Shot two, six iron in hand. And my, my balls are actually like that's 248 yard carry in the wind, wet conditions, and it's, it's actually landing here. I guess I'll take it, I'll take it all day long, especially in the wind. But anyway, six iron in hand, guys, still a big shot in here. Aim is obviously the red and white stick down there. I'll stick a little mark around that for you now. So the red and white stick down there, that's my marker. Let's try and get one down there. Should just be right hand side of it. Yeah. Should just be right hand side of it, it's not the worst of shots. We'll take it. So, third shot, and I actually got confused in the tee box there. I actually thought this was a par four. Interesting story, it's actually a par five. The second time round. So, with a par five, we have an eagle chip. Close for a birdie, I'll be happy. But I will happily take that after here and that. So shot free, pitch wedge in hand, just try and get one close to it, roll it on. Two pot for a par or another pot for a birdie. Pot for a birdie. So anyway, I'll take a par, but I'll be happy with a birdie. Shot free, pitch wedge in hand. I'm gonna try and land one left hand side of the flag. Come down, come down, come down. Oh! Nearly slam dunked in. I just give it too much. Should have maybe hit 58 degree there. Here guys, big big birdie attempt. Bit disappointing. A little bit disappointing. In the hole or close for par. In the hole, in the hole, in the oh it's close for par. But I kept rolling, now it's big for par. Uh oh. Straight enough, straight up the hill. There we have the guys a par. Being there in three. Thought I was gonna get a birdie opportunity there. We were walking away with a par, but it's a par, we'll take it. Happily.
somewhere near that railway right stack. It will help me take it. Well, I'll tell you what, look at that. Second face on that, that's incredible. And that is an absolute monster. Take a slip right there. That's well and truly past that runaway stick. Wow. Shot through, guys. A good bit past that red white stick, I have to say. It was a good strike. But anyway, we've got nine. No. We've got a pitching wedge in hand. We're sitting at 122 yards. Pitching wedge in hand. Let's try and get one close to the pin. That's a good strike. That's a very good strike. Wind's pulling a bit right though. And uh, yeah, I don't like my second shot. I'm over out of the rough. Identical to the last time. And it's a hard enough tip from that rough there, so it is on the right hand side. It'll be interesting. Shot for you guys. My lie is not actually that bad of what I thought it was going to be. I wouldn't really call it rough. So, pitch and wedge in hand. Go try a nice little bump and run. Hopefully, just run one up the hill. Try and run it, stop near the pin, walk away with power, happy as Laurie. But anyway, pitch away your hand, try and get one close to it. Keep going, oh wow, that's that's very not good there guys. That was a chip there to forget about. And that's massive for power now, see? The golf's actually been alright, but it's shots like out there around the greens. If you give me any tips, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Help me out and really struggle. But anyway, let's get back to it. So we're back to it guys. Need this one for par. Great drive, not a bad second, horrible third. Hopefully it's a great fourth for par, hopefully. Oh come on, don't do it to me. It's gonna be a tap in bogey. And then we'll go to the 18th. There's the bogey. And we'll go to the 18th here now guys, which is the par three again. Let's try and land one on this time, but 18 full. So up for the 18 full. Which should be an interesting hole. Last time here. I think I'm getting inside my own head here because last time here I hit, a, I hit an 8 iron, sorry. But I caught it heavy, I hit the mat, and I was just about short. So if I went to a 7 iron now, so I have. I'm scared to hit a 7 iron here because I think I can maybe go over the back of the screen. It shouldn't be a, I don't think it's a 7 iron shot. But anyway. Oh my god. Beat the number. Come on, make it, make it. Tell you what, guys, maybe the wind's killing everything, but that was going right at the green. And we have literally just landed it. Just short, I mean, literally just short of the green. It's a nice little pitching wedge. Or a nine iron bump and run, R run one to the green, or run, run one to the flag, hopefully walk away with power, and it'd be a great round of golf today. Here's where it landed here, so it is, let's roll down a little bit, but shot two, pitching wedge in hand, just try and get one close to the pin, walk away with power, that'd be great. That could be good, come on in, come on in, come on in. Tell you what guys. Now that's another par opportunity here, let's hope we get this, come on. So guys, this is for par. We sink this. That's a very good round of golf today. It'd be a very good round of golf today. But we need to sink it. Let's see if we can get this, come on, don't be scared of it, do you? There we have it guys. What a strong way to finish. What an absolute way to finish. Power to finish the 18th. What a round of golf. I actually want my handicap to go up because we've got a trip going to Donegal here soon. And I want my handicap to go up. But anyway, finish strong with power. Sold round of golf. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's me my day. Happy with that one. Thanks.